Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching and listening. This is going to be the mid-July 2023 reading for the zodiac sign of Taurus. As always my readings are very intuitive so I'll provide you with any intuitive messages they receive as well as meaning of the tarot cards. I do however recommend you check out your sun, moon and rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on for you this month. And if you haven't done so already please do like, comment, subscribe. Um, that always helps me greatly and when you subscribe you'll be notified when I post new content. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump in and get started and column number one we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close the last few weeks or month. Column number two we're going to take a general look at what's coming for the remainder of July. We're also going to do a money column, a love column, and in our final column we're going to do a message from our future self or spirit guides. We'll also do three yes or no questions, a crystal of the month, and a healing note for you. But again, Taurus, let's see what we're working with here. So first off, we have a summary affirmation card of I am worthy. This has to be one of the best ones in the deck, Taurus. Um, you are absolutely worthy, valued, deserving of all things that you want and need. Um, it's sometimes easy to lose sight of our worthiness so but I like this with it being past tense I think you really know how worthy you are how deserving you are but let's take a look and see what messages we've got coming through here so first up we have the devil card the devil card is a card of overdoing something um, this is like addiction greed envy materialism overthinking overspending it's kind of that overindulging um, you may have done a little bit of overindulging in these last few weeks, so just be aware of that and kind of course correct. Um, but also it's like, it seems like there's more money coming in now, looking ahead to our next card. So we want to make sure that just because more money's coming in that we aren't spending more money. That's such an easy cycle to get into. Um, but taking a look at our next card here, we have the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is a card... Um, of luxury, self-sufficiency, financial gain, lots of enjoyment. This is great. Again, there was a lot going on. We just want to make sure we didn't overdo things. And if we did, now we need to adjust a little bit to get us back in that right spot. And at the bottom here, we have the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is about making a plan or making a choice. Um, again, make a plan to kind of course correct if we did do any overindulgence. Um, or kind of make that decision to stop that going forward and kind of get back on get back on track and get back to where you where you want to be. But let's take a look and see what clarifiers we have here. The first card that we have is the Queen of Swords. Um, the Queen of Swords is kind of an honesty card, so it's like, okay, reflecting now to see, did we overindulge, did we overdo something, do we need to course correct? So that's kind of that self-sufficiency, looking after yourself um, and acknowledging that. The next card that we have is the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is a card of kind of low feelings, being in a low spot. So we have the dark sky, the person laying down flat. If we don't course correct, we can put ourselves kind of in a low area or a place we don't want to be. We have a really nice abundant, lots of things we're enjoying, lots of money coming in, lots of good things happening. So let's not swing one direction or the other too, too much. And at the bottom here, we have the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is a card um, of like finding out information and with that information you can make the decision or make the plan that you need. So I like this again you get the information right at the right time to plan accordingly or decide accordingly here Taurus. So I like it you lived it up the last few weeks just don't over overdo it where you can right. Okay now taking a look at our next column we're going to talk about anything coming for the remainder of July. We have the card I will encourage. Uh, this could be you encouraging somebody else. This could be you encouraging yourself. Let's see where this takes us. See what messages we have coming through here, Taurus. First up, we have the Ace of Cups. Anytime we have an Ace card, it's a card of newness. With the case of Ace of Cups, this is typically a new baby, a relationship, a proposal, marriage. There could be a new animal or a new grand grandbaby in the mix for you, um, a new friendship, but it does seem like there's some new love movement here. The next card that we have is the Six of Swords. 
The Six of Swords is a card of going through a necessary transition. It's like we're ready for this new love. We're ready to take this next step. Um, this could be physically moving or relocating for some of you as well. And at the bottom here, we have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles um, is putting in the hard work, reaping the benefits of the hard work. Um, again, I feel like we had to get ourselves to the point where we're ready for this new relationship. We're ready for this new undertaking. We're ready to go through this transition. So this is like a reflection of the efforts. Uh, again, you had to encourage yourself. You had to motivate yourself to get to yourself to this point. Let's take a look, though, and see what our clarifiers are, Taurus. First up, we have the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is like bully, theft, violence, abusive, toxic. Um, some relationship that wasn't great or some sort of ending. So again, getting us to the point where we've done some healing, we've overcame this relationship, we're ready to let in this new love. The next card that we have is the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is a card of low feelings. Um, it's loss, regret, feeling abandoned, feeling unloved. Um, this could be grieving. Again, maybe some of you have lost a pet and now we're to the point where we are ready for a new one. But it's healing of whatever situation there was before. It's the hard work you've put into this point to then be able to open yourself up to this new love that's coming in. At the bottom here, we have the Ace of Wands. Anytime we have an Ace card, it's a card of newness. So again, this is the new. This is a new project, new inspiration, new urge to create, that new encouragement to um, so that putting in the work to get us to the point where we can take on this new. Okay, now let's take a look at our next column, which is anything related to money. Starting out with a quick money message here. It says, get familiar with the type of wealth you would like to attract. Write a check for yourself for the dollar amount you wish to receive. In this column, we're going to talk about anything related to money, job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments you have, whatever you associate with money. First up, we have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is a speedy card. It's a card of speed and action. So I do think you're going to have a pretty busy next few weeks in terms of work. So just be ready, of, ready for that. Busy, busy, busy coming through. The next card that we have is the Hierophant. The Hierophant is very traditional, very conventional. It's very routine. Um, I do think this is going to throw you off your routine just a little bit. Um, again, things are going to be busy. A lot's going to be going on for these next few weeks as we go into the end of July. So just be kind of ready for that. And at the bottom here, we have the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is a generous card. This is giving or receiving help. Um, I do think you're going to be helping and that's kind of adding to the busy. Maybe that is what's causing the busy. Uh, but I see you kind of reaching your hand out. You're putting the olive branch out. You're offering the help here, Taurus. Let's take a look at our clarifiers, though, and see what other messages we have. The first card that we have is the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is very solid, very practical, very wise. Um, one of the things I'm hearing through this busy, busy, busy is like write things down, make a schedule for yourself. Um, there could be some prioritization, prioritization that comes into play with that as well. Um, the next thing that I'm hearing here too is with the King of Pentacles, this is a really good investment time. So there could be an investment opportunity that comes up for you in the next few weeks, Taurus, um, that looks really promising. Anytime we see the King of Pentacles, it's typically an investment we want to go for. The next card that we have is the Death card. I always like to mention the Death card does not mean death. Um, but it's kind of like temporary death to your routine. Just accept the fact that the next few weeks are going to be a little crazy. Um, with the death card, it's like now is the time. Um, and you don't really get to negotiate that. So it's just going to be busy. There's not really much you can do to change it. Um, the nice thing is, is like, this seems like kind of a temporary transition or transformation. Sometimes with the death, card it's really long term but in this case I feel like it's just a few weeks that are going to be a little wonky for you and then things will course correct. At the bottom here we have the seven of pentacles. The seven of pentacles is a card of patient delayed success waiting. Uh, you kind of just have to wait out this crazy next few weeks. Again, it seems temporary, even though the death can oftentimes mean a significant change. It's like just a change in your routine for the next few weeks. Things are coming quickly and then they should ease back up. So just be patient, ride the waves, offer the help, prioritize, write things down for yourself. 
uh, and just roll with it, Taurus, because it's coming ready or not, right? Taking a look at now at our next column, we're going to talk about anything related to love. We have the card that says new beginnings and new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So in this column, we're going to talk about anything related to love, family, friends, relationship, children, marriage. Um, that new beginning is very fitting what we were talking about. Definitely some new love going on. But let's see what other messages we've got here, Taurus. First up, we have the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is very active, very creative. Um, this is like a new undertaking. So again, there is some sort of new love out here. Define it what it may be. It could be a relationship, it could be a friend, it could be an animal, it could be a grandbaby, it could be a baby. Um, the next card that we have is the Empress. The Empress is a card of creation and abundance. Again, we are creating some sort of new love here. There's some sort of new beginning. The Empress is also a great fertility and pregnancy card. So if you're hoping to grow your family, it's a good one for you. And at the bottom here, we have the Moon card. The Moon card is about um, making changes. It's about trusting your intuition. So definitely this new beginning, this new relationship will be a change for you. But let your intuition guide you through. Um, this new love really wants to come through, really wants to be talked about today, it seems. Let's see what other messages I can give you here on it. First up, we have the King of Wands. The King of Wands, um, we just kind of talked about this with the Moon card. Uh, we kind of have to take charge here. We have to be the one that takes the chain, makes the change. We have to drive it forward. Um, what I'm saying is you have a really active role in this new beginning. Uh, you went to the, the dog adoption place and adopted the dog. Or, you know what I mean? You went and solicited the new relationship. You asked them for that dinner or for that date. So, you're taking the charge. You're taking the lead here. The next card that we have is the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups um, is has so many different meanings. So, uh, this could be old new. This could be a reunion for some of you. Uh, so, this could be more reuniting than a completely new beginning. Um, this is also gifts, though. Um, I don't I know why I keep hearing animals, but somebody could gift you an animal. Um, but there's, like, gifts coming in that come with this new relationship. And it might be something deeper than, like, oh, I got you a Starbucks or I got you flowers. The gifts feel more, uh, less physical. Let me put it that way. And at the bottom here, we have the Justice card. Anytime we have the Justice card, it's favorable for you. Uh, this is cause and effect. So again, you're driving this. You're making this move. You're pushing this forward. Um, but again, favorable for you. So I don't know what this new love is, but it keeps coming up. It's going to come in different shapes and forms for everybody, but I like it. And it really wanted to be talked about, Taurus. Okay, now let's take a look at our fifth and final column, which is a message from our future self or spirit guides. We have the card, I will heal. This is a good one. We all always need more healing, Taurus. No matter who you are, where you are, healing is one of those things we should be doing on a regular and ongoing basis. So it looks like some healing will be coming in for you in the next few weeks. But let's see what other messages we have here. First up, we have the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles um, is a card of being very patient. We could have waited for this healing. This is also money related. This is new job, raise, money, news. This is some financial healing. Again, I feel like we might have lived it up a little bit hard the last few weeks ago. So I like that there's some financial healing. We got money coming in still. We're going to heal accordingly with it. The next card that we have is the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is like juggling things. It's weighing options. Um, it is a busy card we already talked about. I think this will be a busy few weeks for you. But it's like you kind of weigh what you're spending. Weigh, uh, this seems like financial healing. I should clarify that seems to be kind of the big message there. So the money's coming in and now it's like we're prioritizing. We're weighing options. We're making good judgment choices so we can kind of get ourselves back. Again, we don't want the super low. We don't want the super high. We want that consistent happy. Okay. And then at the bottom here, we have the page of swords. The page of swords, this is finding out truth. Um... I don't know. I feel like you're finding out about m more money coming in or new money coming in. And again, this is then what we what we do with it here. Let's take a look, though, at our clarifiers and see what else I can give you here, Taurus. 
First up we have the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is a card of new. So again, this is the new money coming in. This is very studious though, very hardworking. And again, this is about diligently acting with this money that's coming in with this new. We need to heal more than we need to spend, right? The next card that we have is the Chariot. Uh, this is a card of action. This is a card of change. Again, you're taking that action to do that financial healing. Um, this is a journey, though. Again, it's consistently making good choices, consistently prioritizing and weighing options. Uh, it's not just a once and done. At the bottom here, we have the Seven of Swords as well. The Seven of Swords, um, this is kind of, again, the overdoing and now the correction of it. Um, this is also, though, part of that journey, that moving forward. You see you're gathering our stuff, we're moving forward. We don't want to go empty hand. We don't want to go full handed. It's very much so a balancing act here, it seems. So, again, we need to stay away from the feast and famine and just kind of stay in that consistent happy. That's the message I'm hearing for you, Taurus. Now let's take a look at our Gypsy Witch fortune telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause the video and think of them really quick. But question number one, we have the King of Clubs. This is number 50 card. That's going to be a yes. Question number two is the Ten of Hearts. This is number seven card. That's going to be a yes. And question number three, we have the Three of Diamonds. This is number 48 card. That one is going to be a no. So yes, yes, no for you. If you watched your video earlier this month, we did pull a card from our Healing Notes deck, which is a crystal to keep with you through the month of July. You have Amber this month, which is good for creativity. Warmth gives you a nice sense of candor, happiness, joy for living. Again, we're looking for that consistent happy here, Taurus. Last but not least, we're going to pull a card out of our Healing Notes deck. Your Healing Note says, in your own time, in your own way, you will heal. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please do like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates with you. Again, subscriptions help me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. Also, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation, Taurus. But I hope you have a wonderful rest of your July.